Hey, what's up traders? Andrew Keen here. One o'clock, I'm at the pool. I've moved locations from Orlando to Arizona. Why? Because I can. I travel with one computer, three monitors, hook them up. I can travel anywhere in the world and I can enjoy my life by the pool, hanging out. I'm gonna show you a trade today where I made, took Amazon for $20 to the upside. 10 shares of stock, $200 profit. 100 shares of stock, would've been $2,000 profit. If you're a gunslinger, you took 1,000 shares of stock, that would've been equivalent for $20,000. So you gotta do the math there for a second. So this is my life, come join, be a part of it. We're gonna go to the charts, and I'm gonna show you how I took Amazon to the upside for 20 bucks. Hey traders, Andrew Keen. So now we're going to look at the charts here and what's really interesting and cool is I'm going to show you how I took this trade in Amazon and everything that I take isn't just manual me deciding to make trades that make sense or maybe don't make sense. A lot of them have to do with either A, trading unusual option activity, which I've been trading over the course of the last 16 years, or I've been looking at a lot of historical data um, and, you know, I can't call it back testing, but all I have to do is call it historical data. You can see my towel still on that literally just got back from the pool. Um, but anyways, I'll leave it on. So this is one signal I want to show you guys here in my, my basically, I call this the five minute trade and anybody can check this trade. Is that simple and that easy? So the thing about trading is a lot of people think that this impression like you have to be at your computer all day long. You have to be there for eight hours a day. And none of this is actually true. I'm actually usually at my computer for about an hour, hour and a half every day. And I had this one trade, I had this idea and this concept, and it's Ichimoku, Ichimoku cloud-based. And my idea and concept was that if Apple breaks Apple, so it's for Apple, Amazon, Baba, Facebook, Google, uh, Netflix, um, if those stocks produce a five-minute bar on the first candle, okay, buy the five-minute bar and then sell it market and close. So I went through and then I looked at, you know, does this work? And it does. So what I do? I took this trade. So let's go through the setup here. It is on my indicator here. So if I go to the five minute bar, so what this indicator will tell me, it will tell me where I should buy Amazon and what do I do? I just sell it on the end of the day. So this trade literally takes five minutes a day, okay? So you don't have to be at your computer all hours of the day making trades. A lot of trades, I'll put, buy them during the day and I sell it market on close. I can go enjoy my day. I can go do errands. I can spend time with my family. I can go to the pool. I can play, spend time with my dog. I can do so many different things. And as you can see here, let's go through the trade. So it comes up and there's a proprietary base indicator. As we can see here, buy Amazon at 1721.61. Okay. Sell EOD stands for end of the day, which also means market close. So what does that mean? What we're looking for is a bull five minute bar above the cloud. Okay, this is so easy, guys. This is so simple. Anybody can learn how to trade like this. So what you do is you buy a five-minute bar above the clock. So Amazon, the five-minute bar was 1721.21. Then what I do is I put a market on close order. So Amazon from 1721.21 went up $20. I close at the end of the day. I'm fresh for tomorrow. I personally took 10 shares of stock. You could have taken 100. You could have taken 1,000. It depends on your trading style. But you can see here... And I go to my filled orders here, and I can bring this up in Amazon. So Amazon. So you see the buy, and that didn't trigger in the first five minutes. It triggered in the first nine minutes. Okay. So Amazon, I bought it basically after the five-minute bar closed. You want to wait for a close of the bar, and you're going to buy the close of the bar. So I bought Amazon at 17.2161. Okay. Sold it literally market on close. So this trade, even though it looks like it lasted all day long, only lasted 10 minutes because I bought it and then I had an order to sell it market on close. Didn't make it after the trade was up or down. My market on close orders to sell it literally on the end of the day on the close. And you can see here, I took Amazon for $20 and 50 cents, basically. $20 and 50 cents. Bought a 1721.61, sold it at 1742.15. I can teach anybody to trade like this guys trading is about probability and math you shouldn't be stressed out you shouldn't be you know frustrated there's going to be losing trades but as long as you stick with the trading plan you stick with a pro like myself who can teach you guys this system teach you how to trade you're going to put the probability math in your favor so check out this trade in amazon thanks for watching guys we'll come back tomorrow with a new video i'll be in arizona so i'm gonna go chill by the pool now